Hello, this is Sarah Emery with Concentris. Today, I wanted to share a short and sweet tip for creating budgets. So this is more of just an overview for those of you who are not familiar what com with uh, what comes out of the box as far as uh, native NetSuite functionality for budget configuration. So I just wanted to give you a little quick walkthrough to kind of show you what was available to you. If you go to Transactions, Financial, Setup Budgets, you'll be presented with an interface that um, has a few different options for you for configuring your budget. So you start by defining what subsidiary you will be creating the budget for. So once this loads, go ahead and select a subsidiary in my demo environment, what year you are creating the budget for, a budget category. So this will allow you to, if you have multiple categories configured, you can actually budget distinct uh, budget budgets for different items that would meet the same criteria otherwise. So let's say you wanted to break a particular class budget into different categories. This is just another layer of segment, segmentation essentially. You can also budget by distinct customer or project item class, department, and location, which has been relabeled as warehouse in this environment, or any combination thereof. So you can budget uh, revenue or cost of goods for a particular item. You can uh, break it down expenses by class or department, um, the activity by warehouse, however you want to slice and dice your data. And then here, you can determine what types of accounts are showing up. So income and expense, which is what I have selected now, just income, just expense, just balance sheet, existing or all. So all will give me the largest list of accounts since it will be all of the accounts on my chart of accounts. And then I can identify which accounts I want to uh, apply my budgeting to. So let's say, I, I'm gonna show you some different options here. Let's say I want to do a, $100,000 annual budget for payroll and actually I'll do a different one down here. A $500,000 annual budget for inventory asset. I'll put the numbers there and then I will hit this distribute option. And what it'll do is break that number up evenly across all of the months that are displayed. Alternatively, if I were to go ahead and select a different account. So let's do my prepaid tax account. Let's say I'm averaging $5,000 a month here. I can hit fill. And what that will do is carry that amount across evenly. I can also make adjustments to these uh, once they're edit, entered. So I could adjust a particular month here manually, or I can just key these in across the board. And then once I have my numbers that I'm happy with, I can go ahead and hit save. That will create the budget uh, that's identified here. I also have the option to import budgets, which is really handy if you have a large chart of accounts and you want to have very precise control, perhaps use a previous budget that you have created outside of NetSuite as your starting point. So I can come here and go to financial, set up budgets, import. And if I click that link, there is also a sample template file here that you can download as a starting point. And then last but not least, one other option to show you, if you've already been budgeting in NetSuite and you want to start from last year's budget as a starting point, you can use this copy budget option and you can choose whether or not you are using the actuals or what you had budgeted, whether you want to keep the detail that you had entered for your uh, classifications and whether or not you are modifying it. So you could change it by 10% or something along those lines. So hopefully you found that helpful. Um, just a quick overview of budgeting in NetSuite. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.